to workshop. This week it's all about mo I need to say. Welcome to our nature shop. My na Welcome to this week's nature workshop. <laughs> Welcome to this week's nature workshop. It's a little bit breezy, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm Rachel and I'm out here with my family exploring nature. They're having a little play now while I have a chat to you about this week's topic, which is moths. Now, if you've got the Exploring Nature with Children curriculum, in there it talks about the differences and similarities between moths and butterflies. So that's what I thought we could think about a little bit today. So thinking about diversity or biodiversity. Bio means life, diversity means differences. So we're thinking about the differences within nature around us and maybe the differences within our own communities as well. There are three different types of biodiversity. The first one, is genetic diversity. Now we're gonna have a lot of big words today, but genetic diversity basically means a diversity within a species, within a group. So all the different moths uh, all have different types of antennae, different patterns on their wings. There's diversity within that species. Then there is species diversity. So di different species, different um, types of animals and plants. So mammals are very different than insects. They have a lot of differences, although some similarities as well. Then we have ecosystems that are diverse. We have eco-diversity and that means the different systems that have habitats and animals in and how they are diverse. So here I mean some woodlands, that's going to be very diverse than a beach for example, okay? I'd like to add another type of diversity in human diversity. So how we are different and similar in some ways to each other. We're gonna think about all of those different types of diversity today. We're going to spend some time communicating with each other right now. And because we're talking about human diversity, we're going to be talking a lot about our own experiences and about ourselves. So that means we've got to listen carefully to each other. Listening isn't just to be about being quiet when the other person is talking. It's about listening to understand what they're saying. So try and do that as you're talking this morning. Our first question is about you and the people that are around you right now. If you're watching this by yourself, then think about the people that are usually in your house. Can you think about ways that you are different and ways that you are similar mm. to each other? So Eben and I, we are fairly similar. Our skin is about the same tone. Our hair is quite different though. His is curly and mine straight. He really likes to eat lots of burgers. I'm not a big fan of meat. So we're a little bit different as well, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so talk about the ways that you are different and similar to the people around you. Question number two, have you ever felt bad or maybe been made to feel bad or sad about your differences? This is a tricky one and it might be quite difficult to talk about. So if you want to, just have a think about it, draw about it even, and then take your time to talk about it when you're ready. So we've thought about ourselves and we've thought about our house or our family. Let's widen it a little bit and think about your community. What diversity do you see within there? How diverse is your community? Do you think that it, it has enough diversity? Do you think that there are too many similarities? It can be a complicated question, so have a think, talk about it, and if you need to, go out and chat to people from those different groups and talk about their experiences too. We've brought you to a different part of our park today that's been especially created to promote diversity, biodiversity within this area. So there are a lot of houses around here, a lot of roads, we've got play areas and fields like the one behind me. So they decided to build an area that would promote lots of different types of plants and then because of that lots of different types of creatures would live there as well. So we'll show you a little bit of that as we do our 3 2, one challenge. But as you're doing your nature exploration today or just going around your um, neighbourhood, think about these 3 2, one things. Three things that are very different three things that are really different from each other. I'll tell you one of ours right now. It's a monkey puzzle tree that's in this part of the park. And as you can see, it is very different from our horse chestnuts trees that we're usually used to seeing. So three things that are very different. 
two things that are very similar. See if you can find two things in nature that almost match like twins. So two things that are very similar. And then one, can you do one thing this week that helps promote biodiversity within your area? So it could be planting something. It could be thinking about human diversity. Is there anything that you could do to promote that? So three things that are very different two things that are as close and similar as you can possibly find and then do one thing to promote diversity either with na in nature or within your community three two one let's go communicated we've connected and now it's time to create these are a few things that we got up to we made a moving model moth first we tried to camouflage the patterns on our moths and then we experimented with some simple mechanics to make our moth wings go up and down which was lots of fun this is something we've done before we found rubbish that we would normally throw away and try to turn them into something beautiful and wonder if you could make a moth out of things you'd normally toss in the bin and then we worked together with some other children to make a um, symmetrical moth. We had to make sure that whatever we used on one side, we had to try and find something similar, which was tricky when it came to leaves because they can all be different sizes and shapes. So have a go at some of those things. There are a lot of other things on the Twinkle website as well that I'll put in the description box below so that you won't be short of activities to do. But think of your own ideas. Is there something that you could do to explore moths or to celebrate diversity? Have a think and I would love to see what you've got up to if your grown-up can add it to our Facebook group. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us this week. Have a great time exploring and thanks for watching.